439 on this Thursday morning, a CBS 17 weather alert day. The weather beast is out on the roads. You're looking at 440 right now in southeast Raleigh. The roads are wet, but the heaviest rain still to come, especially late today. Maybe in time for the evening commute, hopefully holding off until after most folks are home from work. But try to get out the door as quick as you can. Right now, the heaviest rain is falling farther northwest within the triangle than within central North Carolina overall. It's put everything in motion. You can see more rain looming to our southwest. It's going to continue surging up towards us this morning. But that heavier rain is not going to last all day. There's going to be a little drop to our rain chances right as we head towards late morning and early afternoon. That lets the atmosphere warm up, charge up for stronger thunderstorms, more widespread, heavy rainfall that's going to be moving in by late this afternoon, continuing into this evening. And as that rain falls, we're going to be watching for flash flooding. That's really the main concern that we have around the triangle and points farther north, but also watching for severe thunderstorms, especially from the triangle southward. Damaging straight line winds are going to be the main threat there. Those gusts over 60 miles an hour and enough wind energy in the atmosphere that we can't rule out the possibility of an isolated tornado either. So just plan on staying weather aware, especially late this afternoon into this evening as those strongest thunderstorms move in from the west. For now, you're just looking at a lot of wet roads. 44 degrees the temperature in South Hill, Virginia. That's the cool spot in our viewing area by a wide margin. We're at 61 degrees right now in the triangle. Lots of clouds as you would expect. We're going to warm up about 10 degrees or so and that's warm enough to help support that severe weather threat later on today. Grab the umbrella and the rain jacket. Really, I think the rain jacket, the more useful accessory later on today because it's going to be windy even before the thunderstorm wind gusts arrive. We're talking sustained winds at 15 to 25 miles an hour from late this morning through the afternoon and from the southwest, which means our temperatures are going to warm up even with a lot of clouds throughout most of the day. Maybe a few peaks of sunshine right around noon, but that would just help to destabilize the atmosphere even more. Tomorrow, some early morning showers, and then we clear out. Temperatures drop quite a bit. We're going to stay below 50 for highs on Saturday. A little chance of shower Saturday night. I would not worry about that if you have outdoor plans for the weekend. Another warming trend kicks in to start off next week. We'll take a look at the full 10-day outlook coming up in a few minutes.